We are here at the Wild Oak Golf Course in Mitchell, South Dakota, home of the world famous Corn Palace. What is a Corn Palace? I'll tell you coming up on Long Driving. Four. All right, welcome back to Long Drive, and we are at Wild Oak Golf Course in Mitchell, South Dakota. Director of Golf, Dave Backlin, joins me. And Dave, first of all, tell me about your course. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the course, uh, the bottom nine here was built in 1929. Um, small push-up greens is kind of what, what they did back then. Uh, Clubhouse has been here since then as well. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful setting in a river bottom. We've got some unique bridges down here. We've got two uh, cart bridges and a walk bridge. They've been here since the course was built. Um, and then we, on our top nine, we've got a, um, a housing development that kind of winds in and out of the course, and that's about 20 years old. So kind of a modified style, longer links course up top, and a short kind of placement course down here on the bottom. I feel like I'm in the movie The Bridges of Madison County a little bit with some of these bridges. They are really cool. You see the golf carts just going over them. Uh, the, the, is that a creek, creek or a river that runs through here? Yeah, Firesteel Creek runs through here, yep. And then that dumps into the Jim River. So. I was talking to some guys last night. They tell me the... New nine is the easy nine. Yep. The back nine is the hard nine. Why? Uh, new nine, it's wide open. There's hardly any trees. Uh, you can kind of spray it, hit it long. Uh, bottom nine, obviously, um, it's got a lot tighter uh, fairways, uh, trees, and that sort of thing. Um, and, and the creek that puts you on, you got to play through about five holes on. So. All right, you got to tell me about the world famous Corn Palace. You see the signs before Mitchell, if people are coming here, they say 500,000 visitors a year go to the Corn Palace. Tell me about it. Yeah, Corn Palace, uh, we call it at home, the world's largest bird feeder. Uh, <laughs> it, yeah, the only one in the world. Um, it does bring in a lot of people. This year's kind of been a unique thing with the whole COVID thing. Uh, but yeah, it brings in a lot of people and it's kind of the gateway to heading to uh, Mount Rushmore. So a lot of people stop, check it out. And we have an Indian Archaeodome. We have a lot of unique things here in Mitchell that uh, you don't normally see. Um, in South Dakota. The nice thing is it's right on I-90, so it's close uh, close for traveling. So there you have it. If you're going to check out the Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota, that is awesome, but make sure if you're a golfer, you're going to check out the Wild Oak Golf Course. What a setup, Dave. Thanks for joining me here. Hey, you bet. Thank you. All right, we are headed to Minnesota now. We're going to check out the Brainerd area. You ever play golf up there? I haven't. I've heard a lot of good things about it, though. All right, well, make sure you subscribe to Long Drive, and we'll tell you all about it next time. See you soon.